So I'm here with Manu Satyan um, of the Kerala Forest Department and um, primary inspiration for the character of Mala in Poacher. Uh, Mala is obviously an amalgamation between a few characters, but primarily the investigation you ran. Change the gender, of course. Um, but uh, I met I met you in Dehradun. Yeah, I came well, up. I That's right. And you were doing some training program there. And I remember I came to see you. Um, I drove from Delhi and we went for a walk in the forest. And first thing I asked you, you remember, mm. was is it okay, safe to walk in the forest? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, I remember. And what did you say? It's safer uh, than outside area. Yeah. And then I said, well, what about all the animals? Mm -hmm. And then you said, there's nothing more dangerous yeah, than, than, humans. than humans, which is a line I've given Mala, of course. I just wanted to tell one thing. I told you everything. I mean, in bits and pieces, a lot of, lot of stuff I told you. Mm. You just uh, noted everything in your laptop. I was just continuous talking. You noted everything in the laptop and after a couple of months you sent me the script and I was really wondered whether anyone can write all this down to such a such a beautiful uh, script. <laughs> it was such a wonderful thing that reading that script for the first time. Thank you for reading it. A lot of people don't read these scripts when you send them. But no, look, like I said, I just listened to what you said. I took all of that information, I put it in a timeline. Mm -hmm. And then I compared it to what Joe had told me and what other people, uh, uh, you know, Amit Malik, Surindu Kumar, all, uh, uh, Vivek Men, and all the people who had told me, that I, I just put it all into the order, massive yes. timeline. Yes, yes, yes. And I could see when you and Joe were saying the same thing because yeah. you were present at the same time. And yes. sometimes I see different because you're not present mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden I could see the, the, I mean, right away I knew what was interesting to audiences. Yeah. I could see what's interesting to an audience. But ultimately, it's the what you guys did, what you both did, and what did the team did. There's so many more people who I could not show that uh, I just think is so heroic and so interesting and so different, especially for urban audiences. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is your <laughs> your environment. We're in Kerala right now, so you this is the environment you come from and you love, and I think people need to understand more about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was a wonderful opportunity given to me by uh, Surendra Kumar sir and Malik sir, Hari Kumar sir. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, I was a range officer at that time and uh, expecting my promotions. So, before I got promoted, uh, this, this was a wonderful opportunity. I traveled to many places. I worked with uh, other uh, departments. Uh, once in a lifetime, I, <laughs> I, I should say, I don't know whether I will get any such opportunity again. Sure. In my lifetime. Yeah. I still remember uh, many, many. Things. Of course. Mm -hmm. um, so I remember one of the um, one of the things you told me was how you actually felt guilty about having to take a flight because if if for the unnecessary expense if you came if you didn't succeed mm -hmm. um, coming back empty-handed for the task you would feel guilty about the the money you would have spent. Yes, yes. Uh, once we located the the destination of Ivory, uh, just inform the matter to. Malik sir, mm. then he formed everything, then he told that uh, you have to go uh, in a flight immediately, maybe tomorrow itself, yeah. or today evening itself, yeah. then uh, get the person and do the investigation, then I told sir okay, then uh, the phone was disconnected, then after, <laughs> after I thought, what if I went there and uh, if I couldn't catch <laughs> the person? Then I again called, rang back him, Malik sir, and uh, asked him, sir, uh, what if uh, if I went there and uh, didn't get the accused, what to do? Then then he paused for a while and he told, you're not supposed to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to go, you should go, leave everything to us. When I when I heard these things, these little details, um, you know, these are not things that the public really knows or thinks about. The, the, the uh, individual um, struggles mm -hmm. that people have on the, on the ground. And they're very real, very human struggles. But I, I very much wanted to highlight that the, the fight against wildlife crime, the fight for wildlife conservation, begins with internal struggles yes. that all of us have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So initially, when we started the investigation, 
uh, nothing was coming from the field. Everyone was frightened. The people were just frightened. I, I got a lot of info informers from where the poaching happened. But everyone was frightened. And then uh, for the first two, three days, I spent nights examining the Syria. So at that time, we just wanted to means uh, what do you call that fill in the gaps and everything. You know, it was it was a real struggle initially, but uh, with the help of maybe God's grace, everything was clicking. Mm. Whatever whatever uh, we got the info and everything was hidden in the Syria. We yeah. were able to pick it. Yeah. But that's the thing, when you, when you and George described to me how CDR analysis works, what you can actually find from it, it's really amazing. Mm -hmm. And I know it's getting more difficult now, because you think WhatsApp is used. So later we made it, uh, uh, we uh, gave training to many officers yes. in Kerala for Japan, and at that time we just showed a couple of CDRs. Uh, the, the real CDRs yeah. which we used in the investigation, we just projected in the screen and just asked them, uh, gave them some five minutes and asked them, whether you can find anything from this video. <laughs> then they will just go through Syria, some get something, and afterwards we will tell. They can see this person traveling from this point to this point, and mm -hmm. this person at that first call, he was here, then mm -hmm. coming, mm -hmm. common meeting point, so they met there. Mm -hmm. Then went together to some other location. You put the story together. Yes, yes. Then that story is actually hidden in those numbers. That's right. In the Syria. That's right. And, and, you, have, and you have a physics background. Yeah, I'm physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what led into your. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Actually, I, uh, wherever uh, some technology is, then I'm interested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so usually, technology is very, very costly when it comes to conservation because the demand is very low. Yeah. Only few people need that. Yeah. So if a pro product is developed, there's no takers. Only very few. Sure. So if we need technology in conservation, uh, I, we also has to do that. Yeah. The forest officials have to Or ask for favors. Yes, yes, yes. Essentially, yes, yes. Before joining forest department, uh, I, I, I had not studied any uh, subject related to biology, nothing. As completely uh, means uh, physics, maths, yes. that kind of And after, uh, when I got this job, I went to training. That uh, That's the place where first I studied forestry and all. And after coming back, you know, seeing all these areas, for the last 20 years I'm here, I'm really happy. It's not at all a boring job. Every day something different. Mm. So if we are posted at some place and we are doing some work, means we are living with the people. Yes. The people there. Yeah. They Many are dependent on forests. So forest department is a big department in those areas. Yes, of course. And we'll be living with them. Their issues, mm. the tribes, they comes to us. They, they'll tell... Uh, so today some issue is there with my wife or mm -hmm. <laughs> all those family matters. We, sure. we we just involved in that. They're part of it. Very interesting job. And it's all part of boring. Yeah. And it's all part of and and balancing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then when you're working when you're working on this case and even other cases where you're actually just doing the work, CDR, um, any type of analysis, the the labor that's involved, mm. are you always keeping in mind what? The point is the ba the, bo the bottom line. Hmm. Why are you doing it? Yes, yes, yes. Because at that time, one task was ahead. No? We need to find out who has done this. What is what is their mob modus operandi? We need to apprehend them. So one task was there. And but why? Why did you need to do it? For conservation. For the elephant, some 15, 16 elephants were poached. It was quite unbelievable for us. No? We always think it's well protected area. Yeah. And Everything happened in front of us, yeah. so it was a guilty feeling also. Yes. So any any of which has happened, now now we have to do the rest, mm. do the investigation properly, get to them. Mm. So that task was there. Yeah. It was it means it was a responsibility actually, mm. which 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 led us. Yeah. yeah. So it was not not like a work. That was why I told you we are living. Yeah. It's not a work. We are living. So. During the night also, I was not feeling I was doing some work. I have some some targets. I have to achieve that. Yeah. I also remember not having food for uh, so long before uh, one operation. During night, one raid was there. And immediately after the raid, I just collapsed and I just went to bed. I had to sleep for uh, five hours continuously and then came up. Till that point, uh, no food, nothing, because our task was to locate a house. And that house has to be raided 
this com- this morning coming morning so house was not located yet so just locate the house no we forget everything in between of course i know i mean um there was one scene where you came on set hmm. where was the raid we were actually shooting Yes, raid, exactly. Yeah. Early morning raid uh-huh, of a house. Yeah. The same raid. Uh, I'm telling you the same raid. And you were there yeah, that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember we. I showed you the blocking, and I said, Any, "Is this yeah, somewhat similar, accurate?" Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, sir. It was. It was accurate. Quite, quite accurate. Accurate. And I, I appreciated. I think that artist also. Yeah. Who has done that one? Okay, yeah. yeah. I, I, Namisha. Uh, yes. She is really yes, yes. stunning. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one thing I, I gathered even from doing a scene like that, when you described to me the raids, they're very sloppy. And it's not it's not polished. Mm, yes, yes. You yes. push the door open. You could trip on the door. You could, you know, you're putting him in the person in a chair. Uh, you don't know if the chair is there. Mm-hmm. People are going. You're going in and checking each room very quickly. Yes, yes. It's not a polished, you know, gun going with guns. Everything is solved. Yes, it's yes. a real home yeah. with real families. Yeah. You don't know the geography. You have yeah. to move fast. You don't know what the reaction could be. So I tried to just show that again. There's a human side to it. You're invading so somebody's important, home. Most important thing is that. We don't know why we are raiding there. Yeah, exactly. Actually, the because <laughs> you, you don't know. Yeah, yeah. One phone uh, was switched on for some time uh-huh. in that locality. Yeah, we are not sure about that house also. Yeah, somehow we located it. Yeah, so they have to tell actually. That's right. We just we just asked him. We are from forest department. You know why? You know why we're here. here. <laughs> That's then then he started telling. Then we, <laughs> it's, it's a huge relief for us. Yeah, because you didn't know the nature <laughs> of the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I even showed this one scene. I remember we showed where Mala walks into a dhaba near the railway station. Huh. She sits down and she has two bites, three bites of her food, and then she has to go. Mm-hmm. The van comes, she picks up, and they go. Yes. She doesn't get to eat, yes, yes, yes. and she just leaves it. Yeah, yeah. And these little details I tried, based on everything you told me, mm-hmm. that it's been days and days and days, and we don't see these characters eat. We don't see them sleep very much. Yeah. Um, it's I think again important for the public to see that the commitment. That you, you, and your all of your colleagues obviously show um, in these circumstances is just um, it's really worth highlighting. Yeah, I hope yeah. I, I I hope people see yeah. more and more the, the task that you have done and the task ahead of you. Yeah, actually, we are doing the thing for uh, something good, and our intentions are uh, straightforward. So that's why I think that God's grace and that luck. Luck always matters. Yes, of course. Sometimes we will just we will get some lead and everything will be shut. Yeah. So, but here uh, some doors will be open yeah. always. Yeah. So that luck was always there. I think because of the the reason why we are doing the show. Sure.